Howdy folks and welcome back to the channel, welcome back to another tutorial episode of War in the East 2. In this tutorial we will discuss about the air group units. Uh, while in the previous video we have seen what AOGs are and the information that you can get from the info boxes, um, the, the time has come to finally discuss about the air group units. Air group units are essentially uh, formations of planes that will carry on the missions uh, during the air execution phase. To visualize the air group units, um, we have briefly mentioned it in the previous in the previous tutorial but you need to select any of your AOGs and as always I will stay within the area of the Luftflotte 1 and we can select the first Kampkeschwader and then uh, if, if you may remember there are two ways to select your A air group units the first one is here a bit right below the basic AOG info box or if you click into the advanced AOG info box here you have again the very same list of uh, air group units attached to this um, AOGs and we can select for instance this is called the second group or in German Gruppe of the first Kampfgeschwara and this is the air group unit info box um, I didn't say advanced info box because there is just this one. There is no advanced and uh, basic info box. There is just this one, so, which is called, yeah, in theory is the advanced, but since there is only this one, I do not specify whether it's the advanced or the basic one, yeah. Um, but in this info box, you have all the information that you need uh, to see and to change in case you want to uh, manually handle the uh, air war. Um, in the very first top bar you have the, the name of the unit, you have the plane um, that this unit contains, in this case this is the Junker JU-88A and it's also uh, labeled here. And the type of plane, this plane is a uh, level bomber and this is instead the category of planes, German medium bomber. Now, what's the difference between the type and the category? Um, let's say um, the um, type of plane... So let's, let's say different types of planes can belong to the same category, which means the category stands above the type of planes. Um, why is this important? Because in theory, you could assign any type of planes to any AOGs. In practice, there are some restrictions. And in particular, if we go to the first Kampgeschwader, we can see here, I did skip this line on purpose in the previous tutorial, uh, because I wanted to, uh, to explain it here. These allowed air units indicates the category of units, of, of air units that are allowed to be part of the, in this case, of the first uh, Kampfgeschwader. <coughs> and all of the German medium bombers could, in theory, be attached to the first Kampfgeschwader. Now, where do you find the information about the categories and types and so on and so forth? Well, uh, I was about to prepare the usual Excel sheet, but then I found that in the editor mode, uh, you can find this information by yourself, actually. And you, can, you, you when you are in the editor, you, you pick a scenario, you go to aircraft, and then, and then you select air, edit air profiles. And here, you have all the categories of um, aircraft used in the game. And if you select, let's say, the German uh, medium bomber, um, I think... Uh, Wait, I need, to, I need to double check now because <laughs> I already forgot which plane. I think it was the Junker JU-88A. Yeah, the Junker JU-88A. Okay. So, aircraft, medium bomber. Uh, it should be here. Okay, this one here. JU-88A. So, these are all the planes that belong to the category of German uh, medium bomber. And... If you go to aircraft and you and you type JU88, uh, this is the A4. This is a level bomber. Um, 
sorry. JU-88A and Torpedo Bomber. So you see this is a Torpedo Bomber and it still belongs to the, cl to the uh, category of German Medium Bombers. And exactly, this is the JU-88 uh, Level Bomber category of Medium Bomber. So in theory, if you have the JU-88 that is a Torpedo Bomber, you could attach it to the first Kampfgeschwader because this is um, allowed by the, um, by the AOG basically. Um, and then in the sec in the say in the left hand side of the info box we do have information about the air HQ. This is uh, this belongs to the Luftflotte one, the AOG, the first uh, Kampfgeschwader, and the location in this case the Königsberg um, air base. And then we have the group type and the maximum type maximum amount of planes that this group can have. Again. I was about to prepare the canonical boring sorry, Excel sheet while I realized that here again in uh, in, in this section here uh, yeah okay exactly medium bombers um, you have already all the information that, that you need um, the formations for the German medium bombers are called Gruppe, Staffel and Kette the Gruppe can have up to 30 planes, the Staffel 9 and the Kette 3. If you go, for instance, for the single engine fighters, um, the Gruppe can have up to 40, the Staffel 12 and the Schwarm 4. While interestingly, um, beyond June 1944, the Gruppe will have up to 68 planes, the Staffel up to 16 and the Schwarm remains unchanged. So if you're really curious about it, you can just go to the editor aircraft and then edit air profiles and then you can have a look at all of your most interesting and favorite um, categories of, of planes and then you can see okay uh, light bombers is changing in October 43 and August 44 and and so on and so forth basically yeah and we can go back actually we can do it from here yeah perfect and the um, the values the the yeah the the lines below here are pretty much self-explanatory. Um, experience and morale and fatigue is basically the, the average experience, morale and fatigue of all the pilots that uh, make up these um, air group units. Um, aircraft uh, ready means operational, that they, they, they can be used in the next air mission. Damaged means that they can be repaired. Um, during the next uh, logistics phase and reserves means that planes that are uh, repaired but they're not yet part of the pool of ready planes and if any of the ready planes gets uh, damaged the ones in the reserve do have a chance of uh, being incorporated in the uh, ready pool aircraft in pool means all of the JU-88As that are present in the national pool and I will talk about these more when we will do the uh, when we will face the production uh, tutorial and the ready pilots 29 because this is uh, usually uh, given by the sum of the ready and the damaged uh, planes Air aircraft kills um, it's just how many planes this, this group unit has shot down and then traveled, I think that's a typo here, means uh, um, how much this um, air group unit, as I say, this is the average of the miles flown expressed in percentage by uh, by the planes of this um, air group unit. Um, withdraw is again the, the very same thing that we have seen for the um, gro ground units. And then naval only. Now, naval only refers to the type of plane and the training that um, the the pilots of uh, this specific unit received um, if it's set for naval missions or not um, I think I know some of these like there are from what I've seen just a very few uh, types of planes that can have uh, the naval uh, only set as yes, and these are the torpedo bombers, the strategic recon, the um, tactical recon, and the um, uh, uh, patrol aircraft. And oh, yeah, since we are talking about these, just 
very briefly um, if you click on type here you can have all the list of uh, um, air aircraft types so you can just see and see and figure by yourself uh, which one is a level bomber which one is a recon fighter or so on and so forth there uh, recon fighter yeah sorry this doesn't even exist uh, but yeah so torpedo bombers tactical and strat strategic recons as well as patrol aircraft uh, do have their um, option of naval only yes and naval only means that they um, execute primarily uh, naval uh, interdiction missions and um, the I know the Ger the German starts with the Fliegerführer Ostsee which has uh, these patrol um, air aircraft and also the um, these uh, level bomber that that, that has the um, naval naval only set to yes because this is a uh, this is the the Kusten Fliege group uh, 806 so the, the the coastal flying group basically that is uh, specified for naval uh, missions and uh, coming back to our Camp Geschwader um, in this upper part um, you can set the uh, settings of the missions in this case here and we will see these more in details um, when we will talk about the manual handling of the air war and then down here you have uh, let's say a first section containing information about uh, your planes um, this is very useful for the people who, who love to min max their air directives of course when uh, uh, when using the manual handling of the air war I am personally not yet this kind of player because I still like to let's say draw some generic air directives and then uh, see which um, AOG fits best in this in this case but I know there are people who really li like to see and uh, okay so um, it has 401 miles of radius the maximum uh, payload is uh, 5,500 pounds and, and so on and so forth so yeah uh, be aware of these players because they do exist and in the second bottom half let's say uh, we do have the weapons carried by the by these planes and uh, we can the, the basically weapons can be facing uh, forward top rear bottom rear side uh, top turret or even belly turret and then we do have the loadout um, the loadout allows us to change the payload that, that is brought by um, these uh, specific planes and uh, we can in interestingly we can even set let's say all of the Junker uh, JU88 at these airfields with to have a specific payload uh, all the ones in the Luftwaffe 1 and or all of the JU88A in the entire Luftwaffe uh, so that's pretty impressive and also if you change the the, the payload you see here already um, all these um, modifiers that affect uh, your general stats of the um, in this case of the JU 88A and um, yeah pilots it's pretty much self um, explanatory I will talk more about these two when I will talk about the tutorial for specific for pilots and then planes again is uh, pretty much self uh, explanatory and if you have damaged planes here you can see the percentage of the damage so the the, the extent um, of the damage um, there are still a few things that I would like to mention and this um, deals with fighter bombers um, but and this is because fighter bombers, as the name says, are planes that are normally fighters that can carry bombs. And uh, these fighters can behave as either fighters or bombers, depending on the training. And if you just look, for instance, at the AOG of the Jagd Geschwader 54, you see here that you have a fighter bomber minus F. Now the F stands for uh, fighters. Now let's go to the second um, uh, group of the 54th Jagd Geschwader. Uh, you see here mission uh, it says fighter. Now if you toggle bomber in the next 
um, air execution phase, this unit will perform a bombing mission. But, but, you see here, trained as fighter. Now, if you have a crew of pilots trained as fighter uh, in a fighter bomber unit and you uh, let them fly a bombing mission, they will have a 20% uh, penalty on the mission efficiency. So, what you can do is to retrain these um, air group to be trained as bombers. Be aware that training or retraining these aircrew will take eight weeks. So eight turns in which, during which this unit will be sent away from the map and you just cannot use it. So um, let's say, from my experience, use the fighter bomber units as fighters. Um, I may discuss about it in the advanced tutorials, but I'm not a big fan of using bombers, um, bombers in general, and fighter bombers as bombers. Uh, and I have my own good reason for that. And um, yeah, so I think that's already all for the air group units, folks. I thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for supporting the channel. And um, yeah, I mean, stay tuned for more episodes because in the next one we will talk about uh, pilots and uh, air bases. Until then, my friends, if you enjoy the series, I wish you all the best. And well, stay, stay tuned until the next tutorial.